Who has the best hair? El mejor cabello. Me. Jose Martinez. What's up, everybody, from our AT&T MLS studios in New York City. This is This Week in MLS, presented by Target. Yeah. On the couch with Kalen Carr. What an open. Love we it. We back. We back. Uh, Joseph Martinez looked like he was upset he didn't make the hair bracket. He, did, he didn't he was even a snub. make it. It was a snub, which is kind of controversial, but you can't win them all, Joseph. You know? Yeah. I mean, he was probably he had to be happy for his teammates. Breck and Barco I, I were in it. Wasn't. They didn't advance, but yeah. He's, I, I, he wants I think the, he was he salty. Wants to score, yeah. he does, uh, speaking of hair bracket, we're going to reveal the winner later mm. on the show. Right. You don't want right. to miss it. Some serious drama there in our hair bracket. Um, Kaylin, once again, we have a pretty packed show today. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> lots, lots to get to. So I'm going to kick things off with the twim takeaways, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start All right, off. so my twim takeaway, you guys, panenkas. There are a few things that I love more than a, a well executed panenka, and we had not one, but two this weekend. Wow. And it was glorious. Wow. I mean, Alejandro Pozuelo, his debut for, for TFC, number one, a 4 0 win for, for TFC. Don't sleep on those guys. Well done. Kind of a sleeper team for me. But this guy's his first game with the team. And ever so coolly steps up to that, take that PK and just yeah. kind of boop. Do, just would you little. have, when you join, if you joined a new team, would you have the courage to do that right Absolutely off the top? not. No. no way. How would you take like a penalty? I mean, I would just kind of. Try to rifle it in. I'd just hard, yeah, just yeah, power. Bang. Just, just pure power. Pure, Close your eyes. Exactly. Just shoot it through the goalkeeper. For this guy, I mean, talk about you know cojones in the oh, moment. Yes. Like that was that was some serious cojones. And he scored another beautiful goal, a little chip shot. So yeah. that was quite Oof. quite the debut. And yes. also, so moving on to our our second Panenka. Mm, someone Speaking else on the well. anniversary of his stunning MLS debut. Who am I talking about? Who else? Zlatan. Zlatan gave the Galaxy the 2-1 win over Portland. He scored both goals, including a Panenka yep. from the penalty spot. Mm. I mean, he's just, he had to, it's the one-year anniversary. You and I were there. We like, were. We, we felt that magic yep. on that day. And you think, you know, what What could he possibly do as a, as a follow-up? And mind you, this wasn't quite as dramatic <laughs> as that moment. But still, Susanna, such panache. Do you remember the, did you see the one he almost scored that hit the post? Yes! Where he had oh. the guy, he was wrapped up literally in a bear hug, I think looking the wrong direction, and he puts it behind him. I know. And I didn't know, I can't even describe no, it. No, he's, this is what he does. He just is capable of, of in, amazing things. So huge, huge wins for TFC and the Galaxy on the backs of those two and those beautiful Panenkas. And uh, uh, yeah. Wanted to, uh, it didn't make the list, but I did score a goal in men's league <laughs> did you this really? weekend. I did. Oh, I'm proud of you. You were win. kind of in a dark place with the men's league for a while. I had to I take a like week or two off just to kind of mentally, <sighs> spiritually regroup, uh, okay. but yeah. The other thing that happened as well, there was, I, th this is crazy, I walked out of my house in the morning mm -hmm. and a guy stole a woman's uh, pocketbook. What? And was running right down, I was on the way to men's league. No way! Was running directly at me and everybody's like, stop Get him. him! Stop him! And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> You're the <laughs> worst! Do. But he ran by, you know what I did? What, tripped him? Little leg out. Did you get him? Face plant. I You're mean, not his actual face. But then, listen, the, another guy comes up, picks up the pocketbook, gives it back to the woman, and she, he gets all, the, this woman's crying, hugging him, and being like, like, you say, thank you so much. And this I'm all started there. with me. Oh, Kayla, listen, I'm, I appreciate you. Right. That's a baller move right so there. You You're a what? hero. I took it to the internet. Forget. Now forget everybody Zlatan. knows. This know? is the superhero right here. Dang, that's yeah. such a New York Don't moment. mess with me if you're down in the West Village. <laughs> love that. What don't be stealing story. in my neighborhood, you know? Oh, that was really fun. It was exciting. Dang, it was I'm a looking rush. at you in a whole new light right well, you now. you know, I don't have any tats yet. But, just, uh, he's, thinking uh, uh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Still thinking about it. For years. Um, okay, so my weekend wasn't maybe quite as dramatic <laughs> okay. as yours, yep. but but there was some drama. I was in Boston for EMLS Cup. We crowned a new champion. Wow. And it was Dusta of the Again. Philadelphia Union. This guy is unstoppable. I dubbed it the treble. So he won series one, series two, and then EMLS Cup. I mean, he's just flying. And the the Eastern Conference final match between NYC Chris and him. Oh. I'm not you guys, it was like I was watching an actual match. I was freaking <laughs> 
out. He kept going down and then coming back and down and back. It was it was nuts. It went to penalties. It went to a PK shootout. <laughs> it, that never happened. I was watching the Dynamo game and they were up so much against Colorado at halftime. Shout out to Dynamo, Dynamo, Memo Rodriguez, at least uh, that I switched over and caught the end of this match and right before Dulce leveled the match and then took it to penalty. It was insane. It was um, so I had a chance to catch you up. You did a great job, by oh, the way. Thank you very yeah. much, Kaylin. Yeah, yeah, I was behind the desk. You for deserve that one. the credit too. Thank you. Thank you. It was a four hour stream. It was a lot. <laughs> a lot. It was a lot of me on uh, on camera there. But more importantly, I got to catch up with Dulce after after the, the big victory and after he hoisted the gold trophy. Let's hear what he had to say. I am here with your 2019 EMS Cup champion, Dulce. Um, how does it feel? stressful games to get this so uh, luckily I've won all three this year so this is really the cherry on top. I, uh, I dubbed it the, the oh, no. EMLS treble. Oh, no. I like the name that, yeah. like it? Do you EMLS approve? Treble, I do. I okay, like that. can we just talk a little bit about that match with NYC Chris because I almost died. I literally almost died. I was at the desk and then I kept seeing your parents and I was like if I'm dying they must be dying. But what was going through your mind? How did you keep coming back? Yeah, I thought uh, I thought I should have got a few goals ahead at start, but he came back in it. And I equalized in the 90th minute, went to extra time, and then went to penalties. And I think I won seven penalties to six. So uh, it was uh, it was crazy. it was so intense and one of the best FIFA games yeah, I've yeah, ever seen great. in my life. Okay, so we talked before you're gonna buy a car. You now have like 24 grand. Yeah. Is that, this car still in the future? Is that still the plan? Yeah, uh, I think so. I'm not sure like oh, my. Uh, like, hey, yeah, you gotta get this up. I can do it. Also. You chose the United States. You're going to represent the United States in the Nations Cup. How cool is that for you? Yeah, what does that mean? That, that's honestly such a great feeling, you know, to represent the U.S. on a global stage uh, and compete against other nations. It's, it's so cool. I got goosebumps. Right. Dulce, number one, I just want to tell you, you are like one of the nicest guys Thank in the world. I appreciate so it. Thank is, you. You are so deserving of this trophy Thank and you. all the accolades. We're rooting for you. Congratulations. <laughs> you. To, and tell everybody how much you love this week in MLS. I love this week in MLS. Thank my you. Favorite. Yes, yes, it is. Thank you, Dulce. I think Del I think Dulce could make the hair bracket. He could. He's absolutely. Got his own thing. Did you hear? So Stephen Keel said that if Dulce won the entire tournament, he was going to do the Dulce. He was going to like shave the sides because they have kind of similar wow. hair. I I have a feeling he's going to renege the on this. The conspiracy theory that Dulce and Keel are like long lost Irish Dulce's brothers. Dulce's way too good at FIFA. I, I, <laughs> the, all, the ge all the genes. All the cheats for FIFA <laughs> went to Dulce. Keel doesn't have the quick reflexes. Ultimate, oh, come God. on, Ultimate Keel. Watch Ultimate Keel on YouTube. You should uh, watch YouTube Ultimate Keel. Well. It's a great yeah. show. Um, but Dulce is, congratulations. And such a nice kid. He's just, his parents were there. They were freaking out. His whole family. It was really, really cool. Awesome moment. Once these EMS well guys make more money than than the, uh, it's happening. I, I'm just gonna. I'll just, it's coming. I'll just cry. It's coming. We gotta up our FIFA game. It's legit. okay. <laughs> All right. So, what was your twim takeaway for the weekend, Kalen Carr? Well. You know what? I'm not really sure what a twim takeaway is anymore. I mean, we kind of have gone all I over know. the place with it. So I'm just going to take this Please. opportunity to give a shout out to some of my favorite players uh, in MLS. Number one, Memo Rodriguez, his fourth goal of the season, a 4-0 win in Colorado. Shout out to Memo. Uh, Memo was a guy that was 15 when I was mm -hmm. 15, 16. He was young when I was playing yeah. there. And now he's 23, scoring goals. And uh, he's doing awesome. So I want to give a shout out to Memo. Also, I want to give a shout out to Jaleel Anibaba, our, our twim our correspondent. correspondent. You know what happens? You play, you join our twim correspondent team, you score goals. Score goals. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Jaleel scores uh, a nice header. Nice win for the Revs. And a big too. win for the Revs when they need to respond. Absolutely. You know, they talk about uh, mentality. Mm -hmm. It's been a buzzword around yes. New England, Foxborough. Yes. Well, Jaleel's got it. <laughs> uh, and then lastly, Warren Craval. It's not an episode of the movement if Warren Craval is not involved. And uh, I feel like there's another one maybe in the works because Warren and his uh, Guyan Guyanese side. Um, is that what you would say? I think so. Guyana. Guyana. I know that's the yeah Guyanese. Yeah. yeah. Guyanese side uh, qualified for your first major um, international tournament, and they are going to be in the that gold. That's awesome. So that was big. There was some good scenes for that too. That's awesome. Yes. Love it. So whatever, you know, I don't know what it is, but just give shout outs. No, to that's good that though. Like, I mean, things. we had the shout out counter last year. We can yeah. bring it back. Especially we if you're can part integrate of the team. it into Twim. Shout out. It's all good. Cool. Twim takeaway. Yep. Good shout outs, by the way. Thank you. Very well deserved. Okay. So we a couple weeks ago we had talked to we we sent a message to um, Atlanta United TV fan TV. Atlanta we did fan TV. 
we asked them, we wanted to kind of take the temperature of the fan base there because things have not, uh, not been going so great for those Atlanta fans. And coming off another loss this weekend, a 2-0 loss in Columbus. That It was rain-soaked. It was a wet one. It was so, so wet. Um, but it did not go their way once again. And so um, the guys at Atlanta Fan TV were nice enough to kind of give us a response and tell us how how you guys, how the Atlanta fans are coping. Let's hear it. The fans are divided, yeah. for sure. If, if the pendulum swings from DeBoer out to give it time. So here we are. Yeah, indeed. But uh, some of the fans think that the team hasn't delivered on its promise. We heard things like, you know, tinker, not overhaul, and, uh, you know, evolution, not revolution, but there's been a lot of change. Yeah, indeed. And, you know, Frank DeBoer has also talked about where rotation will be necessary, and, yeah, I mean, a lot of the players, you find out that they're fatigued after, a, you know, maybe three, four matches. It's, uh, it's a little bit worrying, for sure. But uh, also, you know, Frank DeBoer, Called the fans spoiled, which... Yeah, but apparently there was something lost in translation there, because spoiled means something different in Dutch <laughs> than it does in English. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's his fifth language, so it may be understandable there. Susanna, do you think spoiled is uh, translated differently in different languages? <laughs> it just, it, apparently. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty straightforward, but, <laughs> you know, in Frank de Boer, apparently he speaks five languages, so perhaps there was a little... Light flex, yeah. Yes, exactly. I don't know, I didn't get the sense that there's, like, full-on panic, at least from, from those guys. Yeah. They seem pretty, come together. pretty level-headed, come but together. that was together. that was the takeaway there. That, yeah. You know, it's rough right now, but in those dark times, you have to, you gotta huddle, you find comfort in your friends, yeah. in each other, and you believe in your team. Well, I think just the fact that they have Atlanta Fan TV <laughs> like says something. I mean, yeah. I th that's a big thing. Yeah, uh, it is interesting, check though. Out their I, I don't think this is a position that they saw themselves being in at the start of the season. And, you know, they made some good points. There's some big holes that they've had to fill. I've said that all along. So You have. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes from. But, guys, thank you so much for uh, for sending us that response. Thank remember, you, guys. Yeah, tune in to Atlanta Fan TV. They do some really fun, fun videos. Okay. Kaylin, the moment yes. is here. Why don't you hit it this week? No, 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 no. Oh. We're, you're skipping ahead, bro. Yeah, what it. are you talking okay. about? Okay, this is bad. the big Sorry. moment. Our hair bracket. Okay. Hello. Sorry, I don't read the rundowns. So, I know. Yeah. Listen, okay. hair bracket. Okay. Good thing I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm steering the ship. <laughs> Guys, the hair bracket. We are about to declare a winner. Now, it was between Carlos Vela and Gianluca Busio. Mm. Both? In the final. Both had goals. Both this had huge games. Gianluca Again. with his second MLS goal. Well done in a 7-1 seven, seven, route, you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, the other AC one. over Montreal. <laughs> the other was one was five now. <laughs> And the other one, these were two, like, massive. And Carlos Vela with his, his first MLS hat trick. Okay? okay, so, like, these are these are two guys that not only had huge weekends, um, but have phenomenal Whose hair. Whose hair do you think kind of flowed better after the goals? Like Gosh, in those moments, it's it's hard to deny the bougio curls the bougio, that just kind of the bounce. Bougio bounce yeah. You know, they just sort of. Flutter. But was it enough to carry? Was him over? it enough, Caitlin? Was That's it the enough? Question. Time to reveal the winner of our 2019 MLS hair bracket. Come on, bougio! Carlos Vela. Oh. Carlos Vela is the winner. Now, now I have some feelings about this. How do you feel? He is so deserving. We have, we've just waxed hard to, poetic hard to about take it away from the, the guy. beautiful head of hair that this man has. It's, it's, it's pretty much perfect. What do you think actually put him over the top, though? <sighs> I, don't, I, I, I don't know if LAFC fans just, you know, really kind of wanted to crash the, the ballot box there. But Too many washes in a week? I'll be honest. I was looking at the, at the comments, kind of trying to keep track of how this was going, and I thought Busio was going to pull this one off. How often do you wash? How often do you wash your your hair? I, you know, it's nice because I don't. I've got these extensions in, so I don't have to Whoa, do it as, as really? much. So I probably wash it like two, three times. I feel a like week. my whole life is a lie. Yeah. Listen, you guys, come on. You think I'm? You didn't wake up like this. I didn't wake up like this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay. Um, but yeah, he. So Carlos Vela. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit bummed for for Gianluca because I think he, be, wanted he wanted this it. one. Yeah, he, he really, he really wanted it. 
So but that's but Carlos stay. Vela, a very very worthy winner of this hair bracket, and my we talked about it, Kaylin. My my new goal for this season, mm -hmm. I want to find out the products. We gotta we gotta God, get in that is, man bag. This is a mission. We're we gonna gotta get in happen. that man bag. LAFC, who do we know at LAFC? Siegel? Anybody? Help us. Jordan Harvey. Make. <laughs> Take a photo. <laughs> just, just sneak it. <laughs> just want to see what's in that bag. What's he using? Um, so congrats, Carlos Vela. Congratulations. On winning the hair bracket on a phenomenal game. You're, you're just all he's doing is making a strong case for, yeah. for MVP this year. You said it. I mean, yeah. this guy MVP hair, MVP on the field. How's your March Madness bracket? I didn't do one this year, oh, okay. and I'm so happy because it would have been. Can't lose. Can't lose if you don't try. That's my motto. Listen, I just wipe my hands clean <laughs> of this. All right, okay. should we move on to Did I You See That? Should. Am I, I ready? You're I was, ready. I was like, you were ready before. Okay. Jeez. Did you see that? Simon? Simon. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Let's check Let's it see. out. Let's We've see. got a producer Polly. We have. Oh, oh, I saw this. This, this is, is like, uh, is this the new Jordan Peele? This is <laughs> ah, Orlando City just trolling Miami, Miami so hard. Yeah, Lockhart Stadium it. does. I've heard. I've heard it's in rough shape right now. Um, this is. I, I have to say, this is pretty well played. Yeah. I appreciate it's it when teams kind of get too. get creative with their social media, and this is this is outstanding. By the way, I would watch this. I would watch if this were if they went on to play this match. I would watch. This. I know. The Lockhart really Stadium good. is basically under renovation. That's where they're going to play their game. Yep. You know, Orlando has their beautiful. I know it is. New I mean, stadium. it is a gorgeous and so they're, stadium. I think they're just letting them know. You know, you know, letting them know. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Well played. And well then we got this other one from Sporting one. Kansas City. We got and you drop one. seven on oh, uh, Montreal. I mean, I, you know I live for the Sesame Street content, so <laughs> you, this is. You are like, these are your people. Oh, this is my. Did I you mean, hang I out with the cat? I, I didn't. He's like the only, the last one, Sesame Street One character. goal. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Seven. That seven. Laugh. The oh, laugh is the look, death blow. He's great. The count is great. I feel like he's an underrated puppet on yeah. Sesame Street. You know, yeah. it's always like Elmo getting all the love, Big yeah. Bird, Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Like the count is is legit. I was always more of a Snuffleupagus man. Really? Yeah. This, I like. I, I was thinking Oscar the Grouch. Oh, the Grouch. Yeah. Well, that's depending on the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments. No, that was really good. Well done. Well done, Orlando and uh, Sporting KC. Yeah, keep You're talking killing that. It. Talk. Killing it on the social media front. Um, Kaylin, that's our show. That's the whole thing. That's the whole Congrats thing. to Carlos Vela. That's the biggest news of the it week. It really is the biggest really. news of the week. I think he, I think he's going to be thrilled. He is. He's like MVP. Calm. Yeah. I won the hair bracket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're making dreams come true over here. Yeah. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please get in the comments. Uh, let us know if you agree with the outcome of this. If anybody has a video of me tripping that dude, please uh, send it in. Kalen Carr was, uh, is also a hero, so so sing his praises because he's feeling a little underappreciated I mean, right now, okay? Give him a, some love, afraid. will you? Be afraid of me. Be a friend. Guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Woo! <laughs>